Welcome to episode 645 of the Two Minute Takeaway Podcast. Hi, I'm motivational keynote speaker Ken Oakle. We're going to talk about employee vacations today because they can have a major impact on the productivity of your organization. Most people don't think about this impact until it's too late. Often, leaders think, eh, the problems will just work themselves out on their own. What happens next are logistical problems, more stress for those who are in the office, and unwelcome distractions from those who are trying to enjoy their time off. We've got holiday vacations coming up, spring break, summer vacations. So let's explore some actionable strategies and practical tips for seamlessly managing employee vacations and maintaining productivity within your organization. First, have a clear vacation policy. A policy that people don't understand is hard to follow. Setting clear vacation policies is essential to manage expectations and ensure a fair distribution of the time off. Here's an important thing. Make sure new employees understand the rules as soon as they start. Sometimes your more senior employees, they kind of game the system because they know, oh, on January 1st, I'm going to book all my vacation. I'm going to take all the good days away. The new employee, they get a little frustrated by that. So communicate guidelines regarding advance notice, duration, and any blackout periods. Your goal is to avoid conflicts and minimize disruption to work schedules. Next. Have backups and smooth handovers. Promote a culture of cross-training and knowledge sharing among team members. Encourage employees to document their work processes, share best practices, and collaborate on projects. This allows others to step in during vacations, reducing the impact on productivity. You don't want a vacation to stop a project. Having identified backups, it can help you year-round as you minimize the negative impact of unexpected absences. I am a fan of having biannual reviews of processes where people sit down and go over their responsibilities. You would be surprised at how many things like passwords can change over six months, so keep people up to date. Feel like you're too busy to do these sessions? Why not schedule them during your historically slower times? Make it happen. Let's talk about advanced planning. Encourage employees to plan their vacations well in advance, allowing plenty of time for people to prepare and ensure smooth workflow continuity. This practice reduces last-minute disruptions and helps distribute workloads accordingly. Keep in mind, you're not ordering people to make rushed decisions, but you're gently nudging them toward putting something on the calendar. Last-minute trips, they will always happen, but you may have fewer of them to navigate. Here's an important thing to keep in mind, work-life balance. When you're preparing your business for employee vacations, you want to consider the well-being of your team. A survey from the Pew Research Center found that 46% of the respondents take less time off than they are allowed. Promote a healthy work-life balance culture in your organization. Encourage people to take vacations and disconnect from work to recharge. Some people, they have burnout, but they don't know it until they get out of that work bubble. By supporting well-being and personal time off, you can create a more engaged and motivated workforce. Finally, smooth re-entry and evaluations. A vacation shouldn't stop business, but make sure you're not overwhelming a returning employee. Their schedule should have some time for catching up. Don't set important meetings for five minutes after they walk in the door. They'll be overwhelmed. It's not a bad idea to have their first meeting be with their backups and other supervisors to go over any issues that may have emerged. Make sure this session goes on the calendar before the time out of the office. Hoping it will happen is not good for preparing your business for employee vacations. 
want to find out if I am taller on stage? If so, then go to my website, kenokel.com. Well, there, you can read some of my articles, you can watch some clips of me on stage, and you can sign up for my three-part course, It's Free, that's all about improving your performance on the job. Thanks so much for listening. Hope you're enjoying this series. Subscribe if you want to hear more. I'm Ken Okel. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.